Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 habits you need to quit forever. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Ambitious Daydreams Do you daydream about the future? Do you wish you could teleport years into the future to a time when you've accomplished your lifelong goals? Daydreaming is a bad habit for many ambitious people. You have big goals, you've spent a lot of time thinking about what you want, but when you daydream, you're damaging your motivation. You're imagining your goals completed and your ambitions satisfied, and that makes you less motivated to work and persevere. Just imagine you're craving an ice cream sundae. There's nothing else you want more in the whole wide world than a sundae, but instead of a sundae, you take just one bite of ice cream. Suddenly, your desire starts to disappear. Your motivation lessens because you've gotten a taste of ice cream, and that taste satisfies your craving. Your dreams work the same way. If you daydream too often about your goals, you may lose your motivation to actually achieve them. Number 2. Toxic Trends Every week, a new trend takes over the world. From innovative devices to catchy new slang, trends play an important role in the development of our global culture, but the same trends can be devastating to your habits and lifestyle. Many people get swept up in every trend they encounter. You see something new and exciting like a piece of clothing. You see popular people wearing that clothing and thousands of others admiring the way it looks. A trend is like a wave of popularity, and you, like most people, may ride those waves as often as you can. But here's the problem. If you're always searching for the next best thing, then you're rarely satisfied with what you have. In other words, you spend your life trying to stay ahead of the curve, but you never stop to enjoy, acknowledge, or appreciate the self you've created. Ultimately, you're a product of other people's inventions, and not your own personal preferences. So if you wear what celebrities wear, for example, you never develop your own style. You're simply copying the people you admire. While trends are new, fun, and exciting, you shouldn't define your identity by whatever fads are popular in the world. Instead, take something popular and make it your own. Figure out what you like and what you don't instead of blindly following someone else. In the end, every trend is popular, but not everything popular makes sense for you. Number 3. Ungrateful People Many people spend their time with ungrateful friends and partners. You surround yourself with people who don't appreciate you, people who take advantage of your kindness and your resources. This is a bad habit you need to quit immediately. It's terrifying to leave friends behind, even the bad ones, but unappreciative people do much more damage than you realize. For starters, your lopsided relationships create unnecessary stress in your life. That stress ripples outward, affecting your happiness, your career, and your lifestyle. Unappreciative friends also decrease your self-esteem. You want people in your life who bring you up, people who empower you to grow and succeed, but your toxic friends don't care about anyone but themselves. Finally, ungrateful people make you feel insecure about yourself and your relationships. You're constantly unsure of where you stand. You feel like you have to prove yourself to your friends and partners, and that insecurity can make you miserable. So save yourself from months or years of toxicity. Avoid people who take you for granted because you deserve friends who know your value. Number 4. Ignoring Stressors Do you manage your stress? Many people ignore their stress. You tough it out, you try to work through the pain, but you're not as resilient as you think. Everyone is susceptible to the mental and physical consequences of stress. One stressor can impact your sleep, disrupt your schedule, and ruin your relationships. It can easily sap your motivation or exhaust your self-control. In other words, stress management should be a part of your daily routine, because you're experiencing stress just like everyone else. If you don't make time to control that stress, it may take over your life. Number 5. Neglecting Positivity Your life is a mix of good things and bad things. You have happy, rewarding successes, just like you have terrible, disheartening failures. Yet many people throw their successes out the window. All too often, we let negative experiences overshadow positive experiences. One awkward moment, for example, can blind you to a dozen acts of kindness. Unfortunately, that's how the human brain is designed. We habitually overestimate failure, and we underestimate success. But that doesn't mean bad experiences must ruin your life. 
The key is perspective. Remind yourself that you'll have good days and bad days. Just take a step back when your brain creates impossibly disastrous hypotheticals. No matter how large one mistake looms in your mind, it's just one mistake. You've made hundreds of mistakes in the past and you'll make hundreds more in the future. So instead of obsessing over negative experiences, appreciate the good things in your life. When your world feels cold and bleak, just pay attention to the dozens of good things that happen to you every single day. You may not see them, but they're almost always there. Number 6. Social Sacrifices do you worry about fitting in? Many people make tremendous sacrifices to make good impressions on the people they meet. You want to make friends, you want to be noticed, but you don't want to stand out. You want to understand what people are talking about so that you can join the conversation. In summary, you want to fit in because otherwise, you might be alone. But here's where people run into trouble. You're so desperate to fit in that you compromise your individuality. You wear things you don't like. You go places where you're uncomfortable. You say things not because you believe in them, but because that's what everybody says. To put it simply, trying to fit in does more harm than good. If you change your personality for the sake of others, your confidence and self-respect will pay the price. Because no one wants to be something they're not. Everyone wants to like themselves, and you're no different. So instead of changing your identity for other people, find other people who like who you are. Because the best version of you is the most genuine version of you. You don't need to change yourself to make friends or fit into a crowd. The world is full of diverse and interesting groups of people. Somewhere, there's a niche made just for you. Number 7. Advantageous Dishonesty How often do you lie? Many of us tell white lies on a regular basis. You lie to your partner to boost their self-esteem. You lie to your friend because you want to make them happy. But what happens when you start lying for your own personal gain? This is a bad habit you need to break. Dishonesty is a dangerous habit which can quickly spiral out of control. Dishonesty creates a gap between your real self and the mask you show to the world. The greater that gap, the harder it becomes for you to understand and recognize your true self. No, the truth isn't always glamorous. It may not be exciting, enrapturing, or luxurious, but it's the truth. The truth is how you understand who you are and what you've done. The truth builds the relationship you've created with yourself. Because that relationship, like any relationship, is built on a foundation of trust. So if you trust yourself, you can understand yourself. It's as simple as that. Number 8. Obsessive Control what bad habit do all of us do on a daily basis? Every hour of the day, every day of the year, every person on the planet spends a huge chunk of their time doing one thing – worrying. You worry about your job, you worry about your friends, you worry about your goals, your habits, and your hobbies. <sighs> but what does all that worrying get you? Almost nothing. Now, I'm not telling you to stop worrying. If you could stop worrying, anxiety and self-doubt wouldn't be so prevalent in the world today. But the simple fact is, you're going to worry sometimes. You can't stop yourself from worrying, but you can change the things that you worry about. For example, you shouldn't worry about what other people think of you because that's something that you just can't control. Instead, worry about things that you can control. Going back to our example, you may not be able to control how people see you, but you can control the person you display to the world. So if you want to be perceived as kind and ambitious, then be kind and ambitious. In other words, there are thousands of things that you can't control, but you can always take action. You can always instigate change. So stop worrying and make your move. Number 9. The Slippery Slope Procrastination like dishonesty is a slippery slope. Let's say you have work to do, but first you spend 5 minutes on your phone. 5 minutes turns into 15, 15 into 30, and suddenly you're an hour behind schedule and 15 into 30 has appeared. Procrastination is one of the easiest choices to make. You can always find an excuse to put something off. You can always find a way to waste your time. In the moment, a few minutes on your phone seems harmless, but procrastination leaves a lasting impact on your mindset, your motivation, and your self-control. Once you give yourself permission to slack off, your self-discipline flies out the window. Number 10. Living in the Past Do you ever wish you had done things differently? 
do you obsess over past mistakes? Day after day, you live in the past. You get angry over situations you can't change. You resent mistakes you made weeks, months, or even years ago. But if you're obsessing over the past, then you're missing out on the present and the future. You miss new opportunities unfolding right before your eyes. Yes, you could have done things differently. Yes, you might have found success, but there's nothing you can do about it right now. So stop worrying about what you've done and start thinking about what comes next. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.